Hello and welcome back to a special video. Today we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon anime. 25 years our boy Ash running around catching and battling with his friends. It's a huge milestone so I wanted to celebrate my top 10 moments in the Pokemon anime's history. I tried to make these moments as influential as possible and I tried to include at least one moment from each series. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. First up we have 5 honourable mentions. There were just too many moments that I wanted to include. And 15 is Serena realising her dream. This was a huge moment for a lot of Serena fans after failing in her first showcase. She comes back stronger with a new look and more confident and it just seems like she finally realised what she wants from her journey. In number 14 is so far the only moment from Pokemon Journeys is Ash entering the Pokemon World Championship, taking his journey to the next level, bigger battles, way more competitive battles and a chance of becoming the best in the world. It was a huge step for Ash, however it could have been way more impactful. But we will see come the end of Journeys, this could be an even bigger moment. In 13 we have Iris and Dino, this is the only moment from Black and White on the list, I really couldn't pinpoint an exact influential moment. So personally for me, this is a fantastic Iris episode. Iris was such a positive part of the Black and White series, I loved her care and personality, and this episode let her shine through massively. And in 12 we have Ash and May's final battle, Ash and May had such a great relationship throughout the advanced generation and it ended perfectly here in one final contest battle where they split the ribbon in half. And then finally for the honourable mentions, number 11, Dawn begins her journey. In my opinion the best written female character in the series, she was so influential overall and the first episode of her journey was the start of my favourite series and her fantastic development. So that was the 5 honourable mentions, now let's get into the main 10 picks. Number 10, Brock leaves to become a Pokemon Doctor. Brock was such an important character in the series, apart from Ash and Team Rocket, he has been around for the most episodes, spanning from Kanto all the way through to Sinnoh. So when he finally left to pursue another goal, it was truly an end of an era. It was great to see Brock advance on his dream of breeding and become a Pokemon Doctor. It just felt right for him, but it was sad to see him leave and his final goodbye to Ash definitely pulled at the heartstrings. You can do it, Pokemon Dr. Brock. Pokemon Master Ash, you can too. In number 9 is Ash wins the Orange League. Arguably one of the most important early victories here and it takes place in the Orange Islands, a series that a lot of people regard as filler or boring, which I strongly disagree. The Orange Islands had so many growth and development moments for Ash as a trainer, it really made him stronger and more mature. And it's shown here in his final battle with the Orange League champion Drake. Ash's first 6 on 6 battle and Ash manages to overcome everything that is thrown at him, including Drake's unbeaten Dragonite. I think this is the first time in the whole series where Ash and Pikachu really show what they're made of. Just wait till Brock hears about this! Pikachu! Before we continue, I want to give a massive thank you to Boksu for sponsoring today's video. Boksu are a Japanese snack box subscription service who deliver an original selection of Japanese snacks and tea every single month to your doorstep. Boksu provide a well packaged experience with different customs and themes each month including festivals and holidays. Each month you will receive a box with a different theme and with different snacks. For example, this March is Sakura season, so Boksu have put together snacks and tea pairings from all over Japan that are perfect to celebrate the cherry blossom season. This snack box really allows you to experience Japan from wherever you might be. Boksu also provide a booklet which explains exactly about every snack, where they come from in Japan, and other interesting facts. So overall, I would recommend Boksu to anyone who wants to try out some delicious Japanese snacks for the first time and to get the full Japanese experience to go along with your anime. If you're interested in ordering, you can use my code NIAL10 to get 10% discount. But again, thank you so much for Boksu for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. In number 8, we have Ash Conquers the Battle Frontier. If the Orange League was Ash's first massive win, then this is his second and arguably way more important. He came up against a lot of strong trainers including one of the strongest being Brandon. The trials that he had to overcome here in the Battle Frontier would change him forever and give him so much more experience and skills. He learnt to adapt and use a mix of old and new Pokemon and it worked so well for him. This accomplishment even made Paul shake with shock when he heard about it, a feat that he or his brother Reggie could never achieve. 
This was a huge moment for Ash and one that could have even seen him retire and become a frontier brain. In number 7 we have Charizard Chills, another Orange Islands moment here and how could this not be included? If this was bias alone this moment would be way higher but I wanted to make it fair to the other series and not let my original series bias play into this list too much. But I don't think anyone can disagree that this moment, this episode was a turning point for the whole damn series. Ash's aggressive Charizard who would never listen to him, this Pokemon with unknown bounds of power that Ash just couldn't get to work with him finally learns to obey Ash here and it's not because Ash proves he's strong or becomes strict with training Charizard, it's all down to Ash caring for his Pokemon and caring for this Charizard that he's had since a baby Charmander. He's cared for it this whole time and when Charizard is hurting, Ash nurses this Pokemon back to health and gains its love and respect. Once again, truly just a beautiful moment. We've been together since you were a Charmander and then when you evolved into Charmeleon and all I want to do is be good enough for you so we can battle side by side as a team. Coming in number 6 is Ash Greninja is born. This moment is very popular amongst a lot of fans and I can definitely see why. This was the most shonen Pokemon ever became, giving Ash a brand new form for his Pokemon, exclusive to the anime at the time, it was just really cool to see. The last stretch of Pokemon XYZ is probably the most bingeable Pokemon you'll ever get. You're on the edge of your seat every episode wondering what's going to happen next and for the most part it is down to Ash and Greninja. Their bond is so strong here and they become such a strong team but the moment that Ash's Greninja's new form finally appears was epic. We have no idea what this was although it was hinted back at the start of the series and even against Olympia but then this thing appears in the Ninja Village and shocks everyone. It was an awesome moment and the partners went on to do even more amazing things in the series. In 5th place is Ash vs Gary in the Johto League. Ash and Gary's rivalry was amazing. And although it wasn't as fleshed out as say Ash and Paul's, it's still very iconic. Gary was such a good character, he pushed Ash, he mocked him and he played a massive influence on Ash all the way through the series, even to this day in Journeys. And their rivalry finally came full circle here in this battle. The battle saw Ash overcome Gary for the first time ever and put an end to this rivalry, which saw Gary turn away from battling and become a researcher. This moment was just so influential for everyone, it really set everyone's new goals and journeys into place and wrapped up the original series so well. This will forever live on as one of my personal favourite battles and moments in Pokemon history. That battle today of ours was awesome! I don't even feel bad that I lost! Coming in number 4, Ash, Brock and Misty part ways. This was truly the end of an era, we've been through so much with these characters and it was time to say goodbye, mainly to Misty because Brock came back, but the moment was still there. Over 270 episodes of this iconic trio being together and now they all went their separate ways after the Johto League. It was really sad and it still holds up today, every time I see the scene with Misty's song playing, it really does hit emotionally. It's the first real time saying goodbye to Ash's friends. It was written and shown so perfectly with the sunset in the background. It really was like the curtain was rising on a completely new era and the original series was being left behind. It was fantastic. Misty, thank you. And Brock. In third place we have Ash versus Paul in the Sinnoh League. Ash and Paul's rivalry has been something everyone has probably talked about so much but it was the biggest part of Diamond and Pearl, it was the greatest rivalry we have ever seen in Pokemon, it went deep, it went into personality and the way these two trained, their different philosophies and the way they treat Pokemon. It really was something special that the writers managed to cook up and of course it all came to its climax in the Sinnoh League quarterfinals where they really pushed each other to the limit and Ash managed to overcome Paul using everything he'd learnt, using Infernix Blaze ability that Paul previously couldn't master himself. It was just a genius rivalry all throughout Sinnoh and was wrapped up perfectly. Good luck, Paul. Yeah. Thanks, you too. In second place, we have Ash winning the Alola League. Of course, this was always going to make the list. Ash finally winning a major league competition after six failed attempts. Seventh time was the charm here in Alola. And I don't think anyone can say he didn't deserve this, his Alola team was trained so well, each and every one of them played a massive role in this whole league, they all had rivalries, they all had standout battles, and Ash managed to work so well with them to secure this title. 
and then even to top things off he has his exhibition match with Kakui, a full 6 on 6 battle and he ends up winning that as well. It was just perfect writing from start to finish, this league arc is one of the best arcs in the anime and Ash finally winning the league was a moment where the internet just kind of stopped what they were doing for a day to celebrate. He actually won! <laughs> hey buddy, we won the whole thing! It could have made number one, but I felt another influential moment deserved it just a little bit more. And that moment is Ash and Pikachu's journey begins. Number one, this is by far the biggest moment in Pokemon. Ash meets Pikachu, Ash begins his journey, and the two start a friendship that they will go on for another 25 years. Without this episode, without the start of his journey, this series is not what it is today. Their partnership isn't as iconic without the beginning. And it was a great way to kick things off, Ash starting out with a disobedient Pikachu, going through many trials in just this one episode, being hunted down by Spearow, and then just like with Charizard, Ash shows why he cares about all Pokemon, he protects them from harm and tries to help them. And that is ultimately how he earns Pikachu's trust. One of the best moments in Pokemon still to this day, Pikachu leaping over Ash's shoulder to save him from the Spearow. It was amazing and I couldn't put any other moment above this. This is where it all began. I don't think anyone can disagree that this was a beautiful moment. Spearows, do you know who I am? I'm Ash from the town of Pallet. I'm destined to be the world's number one Pokemon master. So that is it for this special 25th anniversary video. This was so much fun to put together. Let's hope for another 25 years of Pokemon on our screens and maybe even a 10 year old Ash Ketchum still going after 50 years. Who knows? But the future is exciting and be sure to stay tuned for all Pokemon anime content. Show some love and support to the series and to the other creators who are making videos celebrating. And of course tell me what your favourite moment is from the anime. But that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.